And we start with that story of Nat Lofthouse. Tributes are coming in from across our region to the Bolton Wanderers legend and one of the greatest players of his generation who's died at the age of 85. Nat Lofthouse was revered and recognised all over the football world, but nowhere more so than in his hometown. He played for Bolton all his life. In more than 500 games, he scored more than 250 goals. He continued to serve Bolton in many roles after injury had forced him to retire prematurely from the game. Now, the focal point of the many tributes to Nat Lofthouse is the Reebok Stadium, which is Bolton's ground, of course. And there for us now is our sports reporter, Andrew Lindsay. Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Supporters and well-wishers from well beyond Bolton have gathered here since the news broke over the weekend. It was, of course, at Burnden Park that Nat Lofthouse played his football. That was the old Wanderers ground and he was the old-fashioned centre-forward so revered in the British game. But to those who saw him play, not to mention those who knew him, he was much, much more. It's Union flag flying at half-mast. Bolton's people are united in sorrow. At the stadium, they continue to lay tributes to a man they'll not see again, whose like has been lost to the game he loved. Here he's known as Sir Nat Lofthouse. It only rankles that the title was never official. Nat was a legend, he always will be in our eyes, and he will live forever. The fact that he wasn't made a Sir in our eyes is disgusting. We'll never have anybody like him. The teenage minor became a major force among the game's all-time greats. Back when boss Owen Coyle was a player, it was the Lofthouse legend that sold him the club. The day I came down to, uh, to have talks, he was there uh, to meet me and uh, struck a rapport up with him straight away. And the thing I always remember about all the different times when he, you met him and he was in your company, you always left his company with a smile. It's great to be great at football and everything else goes with it, but I think it's more important that you're a great man with it, and he certainly was. That view is not unique to Bolton. This one club man had wide appeal. Even as a Manchester United fan, you wanted to pay tribute. Oh yes, definitely. Because it's not only the person himself, it's the way he played. Um, he gave his all to the club and to England. It was on England duty that his nickname was earned, but the Lion of Vienna roared long into retirement as a fan of his hometown club. I was sat next to him in the stand and we were either close to scoring or a corner or something and I remember getting his elbow in my face and it's, you know, that, that was the man, that's, he was still passionate about wanting to play and as old as he might have been at that time, that's probably less than 15 years ago and he, that was just that. He lived and breathed the club, it was his life. He was so proud that he played for England uh, but it, deep down it was because he was representing Bolton Wanderers in turn, this town mourns his passing, and all football fans salute a genuine legend of the game. Well, Andrew, no doubt at all that Nat Lofthouse was one of the all-time greats. Yeah, I had two elderly uncles who watched Bolton in that immediate post-war period, and much of my childhood was spent being regaled with tales about this man. It's a statistic from his England career that jumps out. 30 goals from 33 games. The Bolton manager, Owen Coyle, told me today that if Nat Lofthouse were playing now, he would be unbuyable. Of course, when he was playing, loyalty and local pride were more important than money. We'll have our own tribute to the great Nat Lofthouse later in the programme. Andrew, thank you.